Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and welcome to a look at a new game that's come out in the eShop and may have passed you by on the Nintendo Switch. It came out of nowhere last week, really. It's Brunswick Pro Billiards, and uh, came out, as I say, without any warning. It wasn't on the coming soon, and uh, as those sort of games come out, especially as this one came out kind of late in the evening, it's already been kind of buried in the uh, avalanche of eShop releases. So, thought I'd uh, surface it, reached out, got a code. And uh, we're going to take a look at this one. Been dying for a decent pool game on the Switch. And uh, this one, unfortunately, we've got mixed results on. Some good, some bad. I'm going to take you through some gameplay and uh, let you know what I think. We'll come back to some of those options in a minute because that's kind of where the game falls apart a little bit. Uh, but the actual on-table uh, stuff isn't so bad. Uh, not so bad at all. So I'll talk you through some of the... The features here so we're starting off we've got a game against the ai and uh they play all of their shots from this overhead view so don't worry there is a, uh, a 3d view although it is a little bit limited um you know it kind of looks better than maybe than it performs as the ai scratches there and uh, we can reposition the cue ball we need to go for the two ball we're playing some nine ball Actually, that's not going to uh, that's not going to wash. We're not going to be able to get through to that. Let's just try and uh, dig this ball out here. Usual sort of mechanics: back on the right stick, and then forward to take your shot. Hopefully, we've tucked the air up a bit. We certainly haven't. And they'll carry their onslaught. They began for the uh, three ball, the red ball next. Um, I should have taken a little bit more time. So when it gets back to my shot. I will talk you through a few of the features that we've got here. So, um, we need to go for the orange ball next. So, basic controls, left and right on the D-pad. Gives you this kind of tilted look left and right, which is quite handy if you're looking, uh, especially at a double or something. X button gives you the overhead view. Y button lets you zoom in on the target ball. Although, if you rotate around too far, you jump back. But it gives you another option to kind of uh, look in and line up your shots. You can adjust the uh, aiming bar, so how long it is and whether there's actually one at all. The one thing it doesn't do, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame, is you can't move the camera, and that is where kind of it falls down a little bit. Although you have got that option, as I say, to jump to this overhead view, you kind of feel like on the right stick you should be able to, you know, maybe walk around the table, and there isn't that. So it's kind of one of the things. Just seems to be the way with these switch pool games. There's just always one or two little things that just hold it back from being the perfect solution. But uh, we'll carry on. We've got the uh, left bumper button here. Let's you slow down the aiming. So if I do normal aiming and hold down the left button, you see it slows it down so you can fine tune your aiming. Holding down ZL lets you change the uh, spin or English as the Americans call it on the ball. And you can click in on the left stick to reset that. And uh, the right stick here speeds up the spinning and the, the aiming. So let's take some more shots. We've got this uh, five ball to sink, and then we need to come back for the eight ball. So maybe let's put some uh, some backspin on. Not quite enough. Still getting used to the physics a little bit. Kind of uh, handy to line your shots up in this overhead view, especially the longer ones. But as I say, it's quite handy as well to do this zoomed in view. So again, you can kind of get a bit of a fine tune on on the ball there. Back on the right stick, Ooh, just rattles it in. Finish up on the nine ball. Where are we gonna stick it? Should we cut it into that center pocket? The cuts are a little bit weird on this, so let's hope that's enough. In we go. This, uh, oh, scratched on the nine ball. This comes from uh, Farsight Studios, by the way, uh, more famous for their, probably their pinball games. They did release Brunswick PBA Bowling uh, last year, which is a decent bowling game. I reviewed that on the channel. Uh, really did enjoy that. So they kind of uh, obviously got the Brunswick license and are running with it. So let's have a look around some of the options here. This was kind of uh, what I hinted a little while ago that maybe lets the game down a little. We've got these settings and it's some general settings there. There's the aim assist I spoke about. Uh, you can have it on, partial or off. The default camera can be the Q camera or the overhead view, which is quite nice as well. So you don't have to keep, if you prefer the overhead view, you don't have to keep switching to it with the X button. And uh, practice starting player there. Is the uh, AI? I mean, don't think we've got a level of uh, 
of AOA that you can pick from. Check that out. So we've got the music here, or the audio, and the the music isn't great. Sort of, uh, actually does actually great on me a little bit. So I might be turning that off. Controls there that I've kind of been through, but uh, you can bring them up if you need a reminder. Game has got leaderboards, and it has actually got online play as well. So we're going to come back to that in a little second. Just have a quick look at the leaderboard. Did play some online games last night actually, and seemed to connect pretty quickly. Although. This is going to sound a bit tin foil hat, but even though it connected reasonably quickly to what I thought was an online player, I'm not 100% sure if it was a bot or not, because they were taking their shots pretty quickly. It may have been, I may be speaking totally out of turn, so apologies if uh, if there isn't a sort of a, a hidden bot option for multiplayer, but as I say, they were kind of lining up their shots as quick as the AI do. There is this shop, you can buy some um, Brunswick Bucks. To buy stuff with you've got new cues that you can buy which they do change your stats i've not had a chance to uh to buy one of these yet to see how they actually change your stats although uh, yeah how it feels in reality to play with a new queue you can see uh, as, as you go up to the more expensive ones you really are you know getting power precision aim time and english so that's quite interesting if you can get one of the really expensive cues compared to this house queue that you've got that you know is uh, pretty rubbish. Different ball sets as well. You can pay money for those. So that's your that's your bag. And there's uh, different cloth colours. There is different tables as well. Kind of the trailers that I've watched this game before it was released. There's some really nice tables. So it's kind of jarring when you start the game to be stuck with this kind of basic sort of a Argos put it together yourself kind of table. But uh, we're going to some of these options here. This is the, the main issue for me, is there's no real decent single player mode. There's no career mode, uh, which really is a letdown. I was really disappointed that there's no career mode. Literally got eight ball and nine ball. You can play online against another player locally or against the AI. And then there's this challenge mode, which I guess is what they're wanting the solo player to play. These three different variations, got time attack, solitaire and shot caller. Uh, we'll have a look at those in a second. Let's just have a look at um, some of the tables. So you've got this online uh, option. As I said, I did play last night, local and practice. But I just want to show you some of the tables that are available. And you unlock these. It seems to be in different ways. I oh, can't see the unlock methods there. But it seems when I was uh, looking last night, it was dependent on what mode you were in, uh, how you unlocked it. So, you know, you unlock the, the Glenwood table here, for example, in... Uh, challenge mode by doing so many um, getting so many points in solitaire mode or you unlock it in multiplayer mode by winning three multiplayer games so I don't know if you need to unlock it in each mode that's what it seemed to look like to me but let's just go through the tables so say you've got this basic one here the Soho table and then uh, they go up look much nicer that black even a black wolf the next one up looks nice um, Glenwood Oakland Canton Brooklyn Brixton and Gold Crown I assume these are real life Brunswick tables would make sense if they were. And uh, but we're going to back out of this here because we played a, a solo game. Let's have a look at some of these challenges. Uh, let's go with a nine ball solitaire. Let's see if I can see here. So here you go here the nine ball solitaire. So the, to get the black wolf here, um, it's locked. Earn five more points on the Soho table, uh, Glenwood table to unlock that. You earn seven more points on the black wolf table. So obviously once you unlock that, and so on and so on. Climbing up the uh, the tables as you unlock them. We'll stick with the Soho. You can view the rules at any time, although they do pop up. Um, you need to pop the balls in numeric order. And uh, you get a combo as you go up. So let's see how we get on with that. Let's say overall it's just, it looks really, really good on the trailers. And I've watched some other trailers on YouTube as well as the one on the eShop. And I was getting really excited for this one. But... Uh, Again, it's just not quite there. I mean, it's a bargain price. You're looking at 15, just over 15 pounds in the UK, and it's uh, 20 dollars in America. Let's see if we can cannon onto the green. All oh, time is ticking. We run out of time. So you get three uh, attempts of fouls. I forgot there was a clock ticking away in the corner. Get 10 seconds. Let's try and set this plant up. 
get the green in. Oh, doubled it up with the orange five ball. You always must hit in nine ball. If you're not sure of the rules, you always must hit the lowest number ball. So, so we kind of uh, tucked ourselves up a little bit here by putting the one behind the blue. You can press B when you take a shot as well, and you do kind of get this zoomed out uh, view of the table, which is quite nice. Let's you view your, your shot. I'll do that after this shot here. We'll take this shot, press B, and it kind of zooms out of this sort of uh, full table view. So you get combinations. So the more uh, the more balls you pop, the more points you get. We we'll use that zoomed in view with the Y button there. Sync the uh, blue two. Got the three next, which looks like it may drop into. Hmm, Hopefully going to cut that into the corner pocket. Will that go? May do just under pressure a bit from the ticking clock. That's a good shot. Be up for the purple four ball next. So as I say, I think the uh, oh, it was unlucky. The uh, the main mode that they want you to play is kind of these challenges to earn points, to earn bucks, to uh, unlock new things in the game. But as I say, I think it's just a little bit disappointing that there's no career mode. Oh, I'm going to be stuck here for uh, for potting the eight ball. There is uh, one of the nice things there is, and I'll try it in a second, even that's going to cost me the game. You can uh, jump the cue ball, which is really cool. Actually, we'll pot the black here. Oh dear, I should have lined that up better. That's awful. Certainly not going to get any unlocks with this sort of play. Let's just see if we can knock it into a potable position. Oh, we're going to roll it into the corner. Oh, played for. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can jump the cue ball. So if you hold down ZL, move the cue up, give it a bit of welly, you see that you can jump it. And if you uh, you know hit it with a bit more power, you can actually jump over, uh, do nice some nice jump shots. So that's uh, something you don't often see in... in sort of cue sport games so a nice little bit of physics there the actual table physics as i say which is kind of the main focus that you want in a pool game isn't it it's they, they they're not too bad at all really it's just a shame that there's a as i say not a great depth for things to do for the solo player i will say if there i don't know if it's cross-platform i haven't actually seen that but if it is cross-platform then there may well be a case of uh getting it for multiplayer because I say we did connect reasonably quickly last night to a multiplayer game and uh, it ran really smoothly as well so and it looked like there was voice chat as well even though I didn't try because it was a uh, it was late last night but there was kind of um, little sort of microphone symbol down by the player's name so it may well have integrated voice chat which would be quite nice but again just depends on the player base doesn't it if it's a uh, if it's going to be popular or not. I'm going to stick that white right in the pocket, aren't I? That's not going to be good. So, I would say probably the quest for uh, a great pool game on the Switch continues. Um, this is probably one of the better 3D ones, if not uh, the best 3D one that you're going to get on the Switch. I can't. I've got a few... And I can't think of any that I've played that are better than this. Uh, as I said, I just wish it had a little bit more depth than just kind of uh, the challenge mode to unlock new things. It's, you know, doesn't really give you a great sense of progression. If you're going to play it to play locally with friends, could definitely recommend it then. The uh, local online, uh, local uh, multiplayer mode would be really good. Let's say if the online presence keeps up as it was uh, over the last 24 hours, then it could be uh, some sort of value there as well to play online so i don't know let me know what you think below in the comments uh what you think of this one i know there's a couple of other pool games on the horizon that we've been waiting for for ages so i have to wait and see what they bring but yeah thanks for watching guys give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video and uh, leave me a comment below as i say and please subscribe if you're new until then i will see you all next time cheers guys bye bye